Peace, family. Peace, 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 peace. All right, I hope you guys are having a phenomenal day. If not, know your day is going to get better once your perception gets better. And so today I am going to talk about me, how I opened up my third eye. So at the time, I did not know I was opening up my third eye or how to really open up your third eye. And so what happened along my journey is I had got sick and tired of being sick and tired. And I did previous videos of me talking about how I was, how I experienced anxiety and mental health of experiencing anxiety, depression, and those things, okay? And so from me being sick and tired of being sick and tired, and some of the things that I was sick and tired of was me being worried about what other people do to me, other people's perception and things of that nature. And that all included family, that included friends, that included, you know, everyone outside of my existence. And so I will watch these videos on YouTube. And I believe that whenever we are on a quest of finding ourselves or whatever, I believe that the universe is always placing things in our perception that we could that we could um get the hint or get the message, right? So I say synchronicity. Whereas though, you know, you may have a thought or an idea and something just comes, whether it is you watching television, whether it's you listening to the radio or whether you know, you walk in past and strangers are talking about the idea that you just, you know, had or whatever. So I remember I was watching videos on YouTube and it was so many videos. And at this time, I did two different religions and those things, they wasn't working for me. Not saying they don't work for others, but they just wasn't working for me. And so... How I opened my third eye was one, I detoxed, okay? Meaning that I detoxed not only from, you know, the things that I was eating, the food that I was putting into my body, but also the things that I was watching and the things that I was listening to. And so I remember one particular day, uh, so it started about, I was watching rapper B.O.B. on YouTube. And he was talking about energy frequency. He was talking about Kundalini. He was talking about chakras. And it was like, oh, wow, right? Because it was like kind of foreign to me. Because I heard one person that talked about this, but I didn't hear it in a way that B.O.B. was, you know, the rapper was delivering it. And so from that point on, I was so intrigued and... One of the things that caught me the most was he's B.O.B., rapper B.O.B. said, you don't need, he was like, you're not going to need me. You're not going to need no one like outside of your existence. And that really stuck with me because up until that point, you know, people or pastors or preachers or whoever, they always say like, you need God and you need this and you need that. But in all actuality, everything is based upon energy, vibration, and frequency, right? And that's what we tend to attract. And I had no clue, no idea, okay? And so I was so hooked and intrigued because this was like the first person I, I heard say something different from what I was accustomed to, right? And so... I started listening to, well, watching him, B.O.B., and then I started, I came across Ralph Smart. And a funny thing about Infinite Waters was this, that I had watched Infinite Waters like a while ago, and in a video that I had watched was, you know, he was talking about things that you should not eat. And I watched him like one time, and then I stopped watching him, <laughs> okay? And then like when I was on his quest of getting different, finding myself, doing different so I could get different. Then I started watching watching Infinite Waters again. And I remember this one day I was like, I just binge watched like Infinite Waters, um, you know, Jim Carrey. I just was like binge watching. And 
I noticed that I was feeling different. Like I was feeling, I wasn't feeling, you know, like helpless or, you know, feeling like um, that I came here, you know, to work, to pay bills, which I kind of figured out already without me, you know, watching Infinite Waters or different people. I figured it, it was just a knowingness, right? Like I told you guys in previous videos, I would go to the bathroom and I just felt like, it, it just was like a knowing this. Like I knew I didn't come here to work and pay bills. And I will always say that when I would go into the bathroom. And so from me like detoxing and everything, I started seeing things for what they were. Now, my whole idea was when people say, yeah, their eye, which is your pineal gland, right, is going to show you things for what they actually are and not the illusion that we get from you know, the matrix or whatever it was like that. And so um, I thought that it was going to be different. I thought that it was going to be, I guess, like the way TV shows it. But it was just like a knowingness of me knowing that I don't need clothes to make me matter, right? I already matter. I don't need makeup to see that I'm beautiful. I am already beautiful. I don't need anything that's outside my existence to make me into the person that I am, the person that I was created to be, which is love. And I didn't need those things. And so once my third eye was opened, some of the things that I noticed in my life that started occurring was that it was more simple. Like I was living more of a simple lifestyle. Okay. I did not want to do the job that I was doing. So therefore I quit. Okay. Because I was mainly in tune of me finding out more about Dina, me um doing the things that I was created to do, the thing that was go was going to add to my happiness because happiness is a choice, okay? Every day we wake up, we choose if we want to be happy or we choose if we want to be, be sad. And so from that point on, I was mainly doing things that was, um I want to say, in, in alignment with my purpose. And from that you know, I started, you know, because when you open your third eye, some of the things that you have to understand is you may start getting attacks, right? So the attacks may come from your family. The attacks may come from, you know, your friends. The attacks may come from all over. And the reason being is because you are no longer um, agreeing to the pathologies, to the belief systems, and you sort of moving away from that. And so the attacks, they not personal, although they may feel personal, but they not personal. I believe that, you know, when you start doing these things and moving and evolving into your spirituality, it's like your family don't want to see you go, right? They don't want to see you leave especially your parents. They don't want to see see you leave, especially if you're doing it by yourself. And so to speak, your parents probably is not on the same exact wave or frequency or whatever it is. Then, you know, you may feel some attacks and it, it, just know that it's not personal. So the things that helped me to open my third eye was one, detoxify, right? Detoxify from the things that I was watching, the things that was putting me at a lower frequency, a lower vibration, um, all those things contribute to what you tend to get from society, what you tend to get from the universe, right? Because we all know what we tend to pay attention to and give energy to, that thing grows, all right? So I had to detoxify from the things I was watching, things that I was listening to, and then two, I had to start eating a healthier, I don't want to say diet, but I had to start incorporating healthier foods, foods that are alive, right? Like the fruits, the vegetables, and you know, things of that nature. And then three, I had to start distancing myself from people that was not on the same exact frequency, that was not on the same time 
right? And so those are the things that um, helped me along my journey and what helped me to open my third eye, which is really your first eye, okay? And, um, you know, not do or not put in your body toxins because toxins, it plays a part and it decalcifies your pineal gland. So with that being said, I hope you guys got something from this video. Make sure you guys subscribe if you are feeling the content. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next video. And with that being said, peace.